I didn't go to school on Thursday along with a lot of other students is because of the threats that have been going around, particularly with the situation that just happened at Oxford. Like, the whole state has kind of just been in fear. A lot of surrounding schools have been receiving threats recently. Um, it's just the fear of something happening to our school like that with such a big population here, it can happen. With um, these threats, it's very scary for students to want to come to school, especially after a big event like that happened. Um, especially parents, they don't want their students to come to school either. It's just the whole community is scared. The whole community just wants to be safe and that's why I didn't go to school. Resharing possible threats towards our school on social media spreads misinformation causing anxiety and fear throughout the community. If you see an unsettling post or message, please report it to staff or authorities for it to be handled properly. Posting or creating threats is a crime, punishable up to 20 years in prison. Screenshotting and posting these threats make it challenging for the authorities to identify the original creator. As students, we need to be responsible and not fuel the fire. Stop reposting and sharing rumors on social media. As most of you know, there was a school shooting at Oxford High School on November 30th. Four people died and seven people were injured. We must realize that this can happen at any time and we should take precautions to feel safe and feel prepared for the situation. If you ever hear a threat or see anything you find even remotely suspicious, you should report it immediately to a superintendent, a teacher, anyone. You should report it immediately. This topic is not a laughing matter whatsoever and should be taken absolutely seriously by everyone at Grand Blanc High School. We should all be on the same accord about the seriousness of this topic. Grand Blanc High School, we are sending our love and condolences to the Oxford schools and community. Thank you. So I'd like to congratulate the debate team on their awesome performance this month at the Lower Thumb Debate League's uh, annual tournament. Four of our 12 debaters placed for speaker awards, so those are the individual categories. Um, Isaiah Grease got eighth place, Isabella Ruppel got fifth, Rosalind Del Rio got third, and then Riley Dooley got second. And then we had two of our three teams actually place in the tournament. The team that was made up of Riley Dooley, Gia Patel, Hope Phillips and Riley Phillips took fifth place. And the team made up of Isabella Ruppel, Genevieve Nearing, Isaiah Grays, and Kalia Calhoun Piles got fourth place. So uh, out of all of our teams, only one didn't get a chance to place. And they were really, really close, almost to fifth place. So it was really an awesome tournament this year. Hi, I'm Maddie Kazmarek. Hi, my name is Annalise Sabo, and I'm here to talk about open-mindedness. Open-mindedness can mean a lot of different things. That's why in our P2 trait, it's connected with other ones. So like perspective and creativity and everything like that. Having a positive mindset is a big part of this P2 character trait. What you're thinking in that moment of your downs. Are you being open-minded or are you closing yourself off from the world? Even if you're having a bad day, having a positive mindset could really impact you and the people around you. It's not being open-minded about everyone else. It's also being open-minded about yourself, thinking you can do things that you never thought you could ever do. If you put your mind to something, you can do it. I didn't think I could do a lot of things. When I joined broadcasting, I thought to myself, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do so bad in this class. But I made things that I never thought I could make. When being an open-minded person, you need to think about what you're saying because other people could take it the wrong way. Other people could think that you're saying something rude when you're really not saying something rude. We have one question for you. Do you see the glass half empty or half full? Here are some researched ways to wake up each morning and help you stay motivated. Get enough sleep. Create a soothing nighttime routine that calms you down. Also try to power down all devices before bed. Keep your alarm clock out of reach. Make yourself get out of bed to turn it off and try to set it for the same time each day. Start small. Open up the blinds and light the light. Make your bed. Drink a glass of water. 
Eat a good breakfast. Make sure you eat the most important meal of the day. Drink a cup of coffee or tea if that helps you. Also, create a balanced diet that suits you. Personal hygiene. Take good care of your body. Take a shower when you wake up or before you go to bed. Create a skincare routine that will best suit you. Take a deep breath. Try meditating. Focus on the day ahead. Strive to make it your best. Goals. Set daily goals for yourself. Journal and write down affirmations for the day. Work out or stretch. Read a book. Maintain a clean environment. Keep a clean room and living space. Also try to spend less time in your bed to avoid restless nights. Take a break. Focus on you. Create a balanced schedule so you do not overwhelm yourself. Talk to family and friends about life and keep them updated. Consistency. To make your mornings easier, each of these things should be done every day. Consistency is key when you are trying to improve your lifestyle. Have you still not filled out your senior superlatives yet? You, yes you, can vote for who you think is most likely to be president. Be TikTok famous. Be on the red carpet. Drop a track. Paint the next Mona Lisa. Wear shorts in 20 degree weather. Be on GB Camp Park. Sleep through an earthquake and many more. Go to GB Yearbook to cast your vote. She's breathless. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, so come on. Today, we are playing a game of song association. Let's, Let's go! go. Talking to the moon, you feel like happiness is. That wasn't the word happiness. Sandwich is delicious. I love you like a love song, baby. <laughs> So here's my number. Oh. Call me, baby. <laughs> we gotta finish it. All the way home, my last song, all the way home. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Cause jingle bells ring. How'd I do? Awful. Stay with me. <laughs> ring. Are you listening? In the rain, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Ah, you're good. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. <laughs> Why are you good? Dressed up like Eskimo. Turbo's gonna be a singer when he. Everybody knows. Them turkey. Here you go. It's Friday.